But this is Peruvians protested on the streets uh, on Thursday against the country's government as world leaders arrived uh, in the country for the crucial Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Forum. At one point, in fact, a group of protesters hurled plastic bottles and water cannons at the police as well. In fact, police dispersed the protesters. NDTV's uh, Samia Afsar, in fact, gets us a wrap of what happened ahead of the crucial summit. As world leaders arrived in Peru for the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Forum, hundreds of Peruvians protested in the streets of downtown Lima, angered by the Peruvian government and its failure to tackle rising crime. Over 15,000 police and soldiers had been deployed, schools were shut, and public employees were ordered to work remotely as the government anticipated protests on the sideline of the summit. The anti-government protests are the latest in a series of street demonstrations and union strikes following a recent eruption of violent attacks and extortion that has paralyzed the Peruvian capital in recent weeks. Peruvian President Dina Boluarte has vowed that authorities would quickly respond to a recent wave of killings tied to criminal organizations, yet little progress has been made. This has sparked anger among protesters who marched to the site of the APEC summit in hopes of drawing global attention to their cause. President Boluarte, who took office after President Pedro Castillo was removed, is considered one of the least popular leaders in the world. Some protesters burned pictures of her and others held signs with photos of the 60 Peruvians, mostly civilians, who were killed during protests in December 2022, which started after Castillo was ousted. The protesters are still calling for justice for those killed by the police. As some protesters scuffled with riot police and burned the American and Chinese flags ahead of the arrival of U.S. President Joe Biden and Chinese President Xi Jinping, others said that they were not against Peru hosting the conference. Sería bueno para el progreso de nuestro país, pero lamentablemente no vemos el progreso. El progreso es mínimo y eso el pueblo está indignado. As the APEC summit is underway, the streets of Lima remain a battleground for those demanding change, with protesters' voices echoing their frustration at a government they say has failed to deliver security and justice for the people. Samia Afsar for NDTV World.